Hey everybody, Metal Gamer Geek here. Welcome to Let's Play Above Snakes. All right, let's start a new journey. Um, no knowledge of the game. Oh, it requires knowledge of the game. Yeah, that that would that would make sense. Uh, yeah, let's do this first. I did a let's try this on this like a, about a year ago. I want to say. I want to feel like that's how long ago it was. Was it that long ago? Man, time flies. You can build a storage chest to store your valuables. See, I've played through like the first hour of this game before. Kind of. The first people was at its peak. But here we go again. The drums of war echoed across the land like a never-ending thunder. While war raged on, a love blossomed from the fields of hate. And from that love, a child was born. Oh. Ayana, who had eventually grown into her own, chose to travel the lands and learn for herself the histories of her lineage. With a heavy heart, her mother stayed behind in a town called Corpse Creek. On one fateful evening in Corpse Creek, the midnight skies were interrupted like by a brilliant green. The awe of such an event quickly dissolved into horror as a flurry of stones of flame descended upon the town. Most folks fell victim to the debris and smoke that consumed the land, but the survivors quickly discovered that the bodies did not remain still for long. Oh, that's right, zombies. The Wild that West was zombies. Ayana had stayed in the lumberjack settlement, far away from her beloved mother. Oh no. So we have to go back to town to see if Mama Dukes survived the zombie uh, meteor. Oh, press F to wake up. Uh, we're gonna go with uh, this mouse and keyboard. Hey, hey Ayana, are you awake? Um, I want to check out all the stuff here first. Grab backpack. Uh, your backpack. Press tab to open your backpack. You can access your backpack at any time. You can manage your inventory, craft items, and view your current quests. Note that some items require a special crafting station nearby to be craftable. Right. I can't do anything. Okay, so there's definitely... As you use it, you increase your skill different kinds of things you can make and okay what's in the box a book and some money so what can I do with the book miscellaneous book folks that can read might pay a decent price for it can I read it no so I can sell my books uh hello that's a dead body Camera controls. Q to rotate left, E to rotate right. Sometimes things can be hard to see from a certain angle. You can zoom and rotate the camera with your right analog stick or your keyboard and the scroll wheel. There we go. Also, it's it's a... Okay, so it just does it 90 degrees every time. What's this stuff in here? There's a dodge roll. Space bar is a dodge roll. I guess those are the green meteors, right? Joanne. Oh my, oh my. What are we to do? The horror that came over us. Are you alright? I know, but first things first, are you okay? I'm not hurt, so I guess I'm okay. It's just... My house, my beautiful house, it's in shambles. And the whole town, oh look at me, bawling my eyes out over my, about my house while all those people lost their lives. This whole thing is such a mess. How can I help? Actually, yes, the whole town is in ruins, so we can use all the help we can get. We need logs to rebuild, even though we have that sawmill over there. I doubt whether we have enough logs to rebuild those houses. What did you see? The whole house shook last night. When I felt the rumble, I jumped out of bed and ran outside. I saw the skies crack open and suddenly these black and green stones came hailing down. That's when I ran into the house where you stayed, trying to find shelter. Where are you from? I guess I never actually told you that. 
I'm originally from out west. I traveled through this area and liked this beautiful rancher's re hunter's rest so much that I decided to stay. Rancher? Why not get... Ugh. I built myself a beautiful house with the help of the community, but now it's gone. Alright, to get the logs, I gotta chop some trees with an axe. You got one I can borrow. I've been searching for my axe, but I can't find it among the ruins. I have this flint, though. If you tie it to a strong branch, perhaps you can craft yourself a primitive axe. I also have these hard antlers for you, which may be useful. There should be plenty of materials around here to craft some primitive tools. So I'm assuming that's for a pickaxe and, yeah, gather branches from pine trees. Okay, it looks like the people need my help. I need an axe to help chop down some trees, but Joanne only gave me a flint. Let's see what's around to craft a primitive axe. So let's see, uh, crafting, uh, can't do anything. Uh, what is around? Can I just, like... Oh, search. Alright, so now I have a blueprint for a primitive axe. So now that I have it, equip my prim primitive axe, chop a tree, gather some lumber. Is increased to one, to two. How does one? Oh, there you go. Just pick it up from the ground. Okay, rocks are another useful resource for building. I can make a primitive pickaxe and smash some rocks around here. So now crafting the primitive. So that's the lumber and the plant fiber. So now I have a primitive pickaxe and a hammer. Two lumber, one lumber, one hard antler. Done. So now, two is for this. I'll just walk around and pick this stuff up. Lint. Hey, Joanne. All right, time to get started, wouldn't you say? The sawmill was only set up to saw lumber, plus it's unusable in its current state anyway, so we'll have to build a log cabin instead of a plank one. First, oh my, how can I forget? Before we can build a new house, we need to take down the old one. My mind really is a mush these days. If you craft a hammer, you can use it to tear down my old ruined house to free up some space. And later you can adjust the house if you need to. Can I build it yet? Uh, plant fibers and a branch. So I need another branch. Got a branch. Uh... Plant fibers. So I could only attack the branch or the, the shrubbery when I have the proper tool equipped. Weird, because I would think if I attacked a... What is this? Flint? If I attacked a shrub with a whatever, it should yield something. Adjusting structure with the hammer. Use the hammer to alter pre-existing buildings or ones you built yourself. You will get back some of the some of their resources. Take it down. Is there anything else I can do here? A workbench. Uh, to start building to make a workbench, plants. Some plants around here should give me the plant fibers I need. Okay, so I think I have enough for it. Yeah. So now set up the workbench. Does it matter where I put it? I'm gonna put you here. Uh, press F to interact with the workbench. With your workbench, you can create building parts to create shelter, crafting stations to refine your resources, both and both useful and decorative furniture. Upgrading workbench enables additional crafting recipes, but requires certain materials, as is tradition. Craft at least four foundations at the workbench. Foundations cost one lumber. I need lumber. I 
I wonder, does... Do my weapons have an... Uh, uh, no durability. That's fantastic. I don't mind survival kind of games when they have a durability, but sometimes it gets to be a bit much. I keep using my right click to try to do stuff. Chop, chop, chop. Axe is at number seven already. Let's go. Let's leave some stuff standing, but no, let's not. So I have to build a, a house, basically. That's four, uh, four foundations, so two by two. Screw. All right, so workbench. I'm gonna just put it right back here, right? Two, three. Shelter and perks. The better the shelter is constructed, the more shelter provides. The more shelter provides, the more perks will unlock. That gives bonus, like a rested bonus from like Valheim. And that makes me fatigued. I guess I'll make two like this. Let's see if I can place this properly. Uh, four. Let's put one here. Or actually... Yeah, one there, one there. I'm out of wood. Wouldn't you know? Uh, here we go. Wait a minute. Y'all just have lumber here at the ready? I need one of... I need plant fibers and... Beeswax. So I also need that. Look at that terrible house. <laughs> Drop this guy down. So I gotta find beeswax? Where do I find beeswax from? Hope it's just like laying around. Pick up all the wood blocks I can. I wonder, is there an encumbrance? It doesn't seem to be. It seems like I can carry as many pieces of whatever as possible. I want to see if there is an actual limitation to that. There's something here about barrel. You're not going to need that money anymore. I'm pretty positive. Well, this is the lumber yard, right? So I'm just going to, I'm just, you, I'm repurposing the lumber that was already used, farmed. Shelter's not quite there. Uh, oh yeah. Workbench. Like, oh, that's, that's to upgrade my, I thought that was the recipe for that. I don't know why I think the way that I do. It's never pr correct. Rotate this. I need a little bit more plant fibers and then we're good to go. Nice. 
technically that's a home. Return to Joanne. Probably should have put a window here. Instead of there. Look at that home. Great work, Ayana. There's something else that requires your immediate attention, though. I just realized that the person lying over there is still breathing. <laughs> he inhaled some smoke of the meteorites last night and fainted. Later, some debris seemed to have wounded him. Now, when I found him this morning, I checked on him and it was certainly he was not breathing anymore. But maybe there's still hope for him. Do you know what to do? I never provided medical care before. Bandages should, hop, uh, should help stop the bleeding. Maybe there's some left in the clutter of the old sawmill. Hmm. Sprinting and stamina. You can take short sprints to move faster. Be aware that sprinting costs stamina. If stamina is too low, is low for a longer period of time, it will have a negative effect on your fatigue. Wait, what? Select a perk at my workbench? Oh. That's actually kind of cool. You get to pick a perk. Maximum fatigue and maximum sanity. Sanity? Let's go with fatigue. Oh, and it's interchangeable. That's cool, actually. Now, where is... Stuff? Do I go in on this side? Yes, because there's a door there. That makes all of the sense. I'm just going to steal all your books, sir. Hmm. Hey, how'd you sleep? I didn't sleep well. How about you? I couldn't stop turning either. Green flashes before my eyes and that horrible rumbling in the sky. Have you seen this place? It's ruined. It used to be so cozy in here with everyone. What else can I take from you, sir? I don't think you're going to need those coins. Or this candle holder. Or these books. Bandage. Anything else I could, you know, borrow? Wink, wink. Heal the wounded person. That doesn't look like an okay person to me. Oh, no. He turned into one of those things. Be careful, they're extremely aggressive. Well, why don't you tell me these things before? Performing dodge rolls will help you during fights. These lands are full of dangers, especially at night time, such as, wild, such as wildlife or lost souls that are roaming around since the plague. Be careful. Hey, buddy. Hey. So that's my attack range. It's pretty, pretty far, actually. There he goes. Let me loot the corpse. Bones. Bone axe. Poor guy, I think that people who inhaled the smoke of the meteorites are turning into these monstrosities. It's so horrible. You look pale, are you okay? It could be better. I can imagine that. Maybe you should get something to eat. We should have some food around. The surroundings of Hunter's Rest always have berry bushes aplenty as well. Why don't you use this map and search for berries to snack? Map? Uh, hard work and fighting has made me hungry. I should go home. I should go and find berries, bushes, and eat a bite. Creating world pieces to create... Oh yeah, that's right. You drop down chunks to make the world your own. The world of above snakes consists of world pieces. Each has its own biome and contains various resources. Some world pieces are unique, while others can appear multiple times. Create a new world piece. Well, if I'm looking at this like this, this is this is now where my home is. This looks like it's where the road would lead into town. So I'm going to drop you there. I like this. Berries. Collect huckleberries. 
scouting. To create more world pieces, you need to scout your surroundings first. Your scouting progress is shown at the bottom of the screen. Note that you can stack up to three, up to scouting to three world pieces, uh, but scouting takes longer the more pieces you hold. How do I know when I could do that? Oh, that's this. Oh, I guess the more that I do in an area. Okay. So I could place down a tile. So I can't just like place down a million tiles and be like, yep, that's it. I have to like place it, check it out. And each time I'm doing something, it's jumping up considerably. So if I chop down my trees, will they grow back over time? Or no? Let's get some of this out. So now I could drop a new world piece down if I wanted to. I want to see how different the time is now. It is a little bit smaller. Now we're going to test this out. Drop into the world piece, moderate climate. Now, does it have to be the new place that I have to scout, or can it still be the old place? Oh no, I can still scout the old place. I know my all I have to do is eat some berries, but uh, I'm just going to collect a million of them. Return to jump. It's the time is changing. Do you give me different stuff than you, is my other question. I also noticed that I picked up a bone and it gave me a bone axe blueprint. Oh, so over here. Thirst, hunger, sanity, sleep. Lumber. Nothing new. Okay, so moderate climate is just like food, wood, rock. I hear bees. So if I chop down this tree, do I get honey? Or beeswax? Yes. So I got one beeswax. I know I need that for upgrading my bench. This can't be just my, my base entirely, right? I could hopefully knock down the entire town and redo, redo everything, please. Where'd you, where'd you go? Joanne, Joanne's letter. Ayana, I am deeply sorry. I had to leave all of a sudden. The Frontier sent a carriage to pick up survivors. The least I can do is to leave the cabin to you. You built it after all. They said the plague began spreading from Corpse Creek. They reported meteorites falling down there, too. Horrible. Some people survived, but most of them fled. If you can talk to them, maybe that will bring some light into the dark. Sincerely, Joanne. That's where I'm from, though. There must be people who survived the, the plague in Corpse Creek. I've heard that there is a camp nearby. To get more information about what happened, I need to see if there are any survivors. Hunter's Rest is left behind by all of the survivors. Remaining houses offer valuable resources for survival. Use the hammer to take down the remaining two buildings and make the... So this is my home tile. Okay. So let's take it down. I guess in the, in the end, I was basically stealing from myself. Uh, we can move stuff, right? Your shelter. Congratulations making your first shelter in Hunter's Rest. You can keep it and use it for your survival or take it down and build it up elsewhere. It's completely up to you. Oh. 
Land is full of mysteries to explore. But I, before I can go exploring, I need to make a cartography table to work on my map. Build a cartography table. Uh, you. I need ink. How do I get ink? Decorative plant, hay bed, campfire. Need to cook meals. Let's make one of these. I have no feathers. Ink. I have no feathers. Hmm. How does one acquire said feather? I'm assuming it's through here? Or I have a new world piece. I guess I could just drop you there. Do feathers just happen to drop from here? Oh, search, search the tree first. Feathers! Branch. So basically, I don't have to chop them down. I could just search them for things like feathers and logs and stuff. Oh, that's actually, though, I need that. I forgot there is a run. Search the tree, please. Does everyone always have a feather first? No. Hey, that tree just grew up out of nowhere. Yeah, so I need to do workbench, uh, ink, right? Because I need ink for this. And I can make a cartography table. But also I feel like I need a bed. Okay. But I think what else I want to do is one, two... Two more of these, so then that's going to be move window, window. I need one, two, three, four. No, I need one, two, three, four, five. Possibly. And then I need two of these. One, two. All right. Here's what I, here's what my plan is. Expand the. How do I see the flooring that I have? By the way. Uh, you. And then we do. I didn't need all those pieces, it seems. That. Nope, this one. Move this to here. Also, move this to there. I built too many walls. So there we go. I have a tiny little stubbly little stunt of a house. Put that there. Cartography table. For here. I wish you could move like the entirety of your base. Um, Plains and pine forest researched the... Ooh. Bio 
biomes. During your journey, you will come across different biomes. You can place these biomes wherever you want on the map, but you need to make sure to create transitions between them. The biome on the edge of each world piece needs to match the surrounding world pieces. Think about that when placing a new world piece. Okay. I don't have a new world piece I could place, though. Oh, yeah, let's move um, this to inside the house. That makes a little bit more sense to me. Close the door. Don't let the bugs in. Even though I have windows that I can't do anything about. Actually, I want to move you here. Maybe on this side? Yeah. Okay, so the workbench, I still have just this stuff. Nothing new. Shelter and perks. Higher workbench level required. I'm almost there-ish, right? I need more fibers and beeswax. And bees you can only get... Beeswax you only get from knocking down trees with bees. Bees trees. I think what I want to do is I want to surround my, my initial area with just regular plains or meadows biome, whatever you want to call it. Do I get a say in what uh, kind of biome or not? Yeah, like... Once I research the tile, is that tile available all the time when I could place a new thing down? Or is it like... Once in a while, it pops up kind of thing. We'll find out sooner or later. I'm gonna chop this down. I think the best way to explore or to get my little scout up is... Oh, actually, no. Trees are, are pretty good. Did I just collapse? Yep, hit a tree by filling it. <laughs> Let's go. All right, so you, this is where the home is. Let's rotate it so that it's like, you know what? I want the forest over there. Me, mm. Maybe we'll do it this way. Pine forest. To expand my shelter, I should search nearby forests for more resources. Oh. New piece researchable. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just hit a piece. Set more rocks. So yeah, it looks like I can build whatever I want whenever the option or uh, to create a new world tile shows up. But now we must scout. So far, it looks like just rocks are what is needed to research. So maybe we just do some mining. Oh, there's a bee's nest. Is there a bet? There's probably a better way. Oh, here's the map. I could see everything. That's neat. Wait, edit. I can remove them as long as I have ink because it's on the map that's neat so if you make a blunder you could you could easily replace and fix what you did so now I have another beeswax and some honey what is that huckleberry oh it, it smacked the bush oh yeah I need to eat There we go. Can I eat? Oh, I could eat when I'm full. That's not good. A new world piece is ready, so let's make this the forest. Pickaxe. Oh, that's right. I had I picked up a bone axe before. I wonder if I could have been doing things a little bit faster. 
also go faster. Move faster. Alright, so we have... Upgrade your workbench. If I upgrade my workbench, I'll be able to build more complex things. Every workbench requires certain resources for upgrading. Upgrade your workbench. So this was beeswax. I gotta find one more, one more bee. One more beehive, and I'll be. F Ooh, unique pieces. So this was a hat. Oh, a quarter, a half. Okay. But I th think I know how to make some more stuff right yeah you bones and rope an actual axe yeah i'm gonna go with this before i upgrade my my station now question how do I change this? Equipment. Do I just like... Oh. Okay. You just literally tap on it. Cool. You ever... Oh, trash item. Resell value. There doesn't seem to be any durability, so I'm just going to trash it. Okay. So now this hopefully means I can uh, dig things a little bit faster and chop them down faster. So now I'm in the forest, right? Oh, there's a... There's a deer. Feathers. Dusk and night has become dusk. That means the night is close. If you are not willing to fight all kinds of dangers in the wild, you should return to your shelter or build one. It's also wise to have a light source and enough logs to fuel it before the... That would have been good to know beforehand. Uh, I think I have a campfire. I think I set one up. Yeah, it's number seven on my, uh, on my list here. Seven. Uh, let's put it down, like, here. Cook a cherry bowl. I want to fuel you a little more. I have a ton of lumber. Ingredients. Wait. It's a recipe. So three berries. Huckleberry bowl. A recipe book. What if I put a bone in here? Okay. So also cooking ate up some of the durability of it. Good to know. Okay, so go back to here. Consumables. Recipe book. Three ink. All recipes discovered while cooking. Oh, so right now I have no idea what I just did. How about we go take a nap? <sighs> Let's take a nap. I'm not quite ready to uh, face the horrors of the night. Also, this makes me worried that there's no autosave, it seems. Um, Let us make a... To make... How many inks was it? Three. 
three inks. So that's here. One more feather. Search for water. That means I have to plop a lake down. Give me a feather. Thank you. I just want to build my recipe book and call it a day. Recipe book. Right. So now I have this recipe book. If I hit seven, it will tell me how to... Okay. Wonderful. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do here is I want to put the hammer at eight. I want to put the map at seven. This at six. Consumables. So put you four and five. There we go. That's how it works in my head. It makes me feel a little bit better. Find a lake. Did it say I had a new cartography piece? Plains, lakes. I need one more rock. So I'm gonna put that near my uh near my shelter, obviously. This should be enough once I take this down enough to uh put me over for a new piece. Once I unlock that. Then I guess I have to like craft a uh cup or something. Or a water skin. Research this. Let's put this down. Let's build it out that way. Another new piece. Plant fibers for the actual lake. Plant fiber should be the easiest one to uh, get, I guess, right? And I just drink the water from here? Can't. This looks like something different. Scoop. Fishing? There's fishing in the game? Why am I getting fatigued from drinking the water? Tool too weak. Oh, it's dirty water. That's why I probably got to boil it, right? That makes sense. Probably also should collect more berries and some honey. What did I do? Put three berries together and I made a, a bowl of Huckleberry jam or something. All right, we need to go this way. I probably should be trying to build out, I guess, where we go with this little chunk here with the forest, right? Uh, we want to do photography table. Missing one. You're coming with me, buddy. All right, 
right, so let's build an actual lake, I guess, right? Can we put the lake over there? I would have to put that same piece around it like this. That's cool, though. I like it. All right. Uh, let's go make some... Put another... Uh, what are we doing? You? Oh. oh, it doesn't actually eat up the uh, thing. So let's eat. No, don't drink the dirty water. You're going to get sick now. Wait, can I boil this? Oops, put new recipe. Cook. Yeah, it makes you. Well, there you go. We're well, doing all right. All right. So now I actually have water. Do I have no food. Or do I have food? Hold on. Okay. I gotta go pick some berries. I think berry collecting is probably the easiest way to go about things. All right. About uh, scouting, I suppose. It's one one whole bush gets you. Is like an eighth of the way, maybe. more dodge rolls I do, the better my stamina. Let's go. We're dodge rolling all day. But also, I feel like we need more of this for pieces. I see a beehive. Make a new world piece. Seems like the forest is where I have... Okay, we got to go back to base soon. Back home. Ah. Well, that deer totally ran into me. I have raw meat now and hide. What is that guy? That's one of those zombie dudes. I could kill it and I can get bones from my bone axe. Right? Okay, you're different. Dodge. The one that was in town did not do that. He didn't spit uh, disgustingness at me. Oh, he, this one, this one attack. So this is the one I had at bait at, at, at the beginning. What is this? King bullet. Oh, mushrooms. And also looting corpses brings down my sanity. I mean, I guess I could see that because it's like, you know, zombies. This is going to get me killed out here. Okay, that's the way you safely harvest beeswax. Okay, I get it now. Whatever side the tree, the bees, uh, the beehive is on, you chop the tree from the opposite, and they won't hurt you. All right, let's get back to uh, home. I feel like it's gonna turn any second. King bullet. Hey, look at that! It was literally the second I said it. 
What is all... What is... What is... I don't... What? Are you the spitting stuff out kind of zombie? Whoa. You are. Shoot three. Up two, three. Let's go. Loot. What? <laughs> I picked up a tooth. Okay, let's put some meat on there. Cook it. No. New recipe. Cooked meat. This and honey? No, this... It's just a cooked meal. How do I make a soup? Like a... Recipe. Okay. I feel like that's a thing. Okay. If I consult the old... Not the map. Well, I need to consult the map in a sec. Okay, so make a world piece. Yeah. Uh... Nothing new. I have to get one more beeswax. But let's rest. <sighs> and then I'm also hungry, right? So I had steak here or meat somewhere. Uh, eat that. Let's make some more of those berry things. The cooking skill increased. What does that mean exactly? Cook the meal. I mean, I could just do that, right? This is for hunger. This is for thirst. Is that? Oh, I see what it means. That's a hunger cooked meal. Okay. You know what? Yeah. I get it now. Kind of. Maybe. Take all the food off of the hotkeys. Mushroom soup. Okay. I'm picking up what they are putting down. But I need to get one more beehive. Also, I feel like running exhausts my thirst. Right, time for a tile. Uh, let's put down more forest here. Those are rabbits. Rabbits are delicious in-game creatures, right? I've never had a rabbit. Hey, rabbit. You want to play? Skin and gut it. So, I could just chase it to the edge of the world. And cheese it that way. Well, I didn't do that one proper. So now we picked up the beeswax, the honey, the lumber. And we gotta skin this uh, little guy right here. Okay, world peace is ready. I want to go with this, like so. 
Is it because I placed the new piece? That's what... I think that's how it works. You have to place the new piece down, and then it gives you another... Okay, so now this is going to be a three-quarter. Interesting. I can't do anything with that. That's not a formable object, okay. So there's no difference between rabbit meat and deer meat, it seems. It's just meat. Okay. Why am I crouching? Okay, so here we are. I have enough to upgrade my workbench. Now my workshop is tier two. And, sh and shelter. Increase my shelter? Uh, what? Excuse me? Workbench two. Oh, okay. Yeah, I gotta change up everything I have right now. <laughs> okay, so this. So, workbench, we're gonna have to do it like. Two. Three at least. This is three, that's four. I still have those. So yeah, you can carry around stuff forever, it seems. Move you here. And move you here. And then put... These two there. Need to build one, two, three. So build one of these, another one of these, and one of those. Uh, you, I need to put, no, we need to put down. I'm so used to playing games like Valheim. Where it's like you hit eight to summon the hammer and then you right click for a build menu. I think if that was the way that this worked, it would be a little bit more uh, intuitive. All right, so now I have a bigger base, a bigger home, so to speak. Is it like a snap to grid option? Because I would love that. Uh, okay, so now, in my workbench, tier 2, I need stuff like an arch. An arch. Oh, I guess if I wanted to have, like, rooms? Okay. If I wanted to put something like, requires placement on the foundation, scrap parts. What if I just make you? Put you. There. So now you just give me beeswax at the ready. Okay, so I don't have to go around and try to farm them from everywhere. Cool beans. Um, let's see, what else can we do with, now my shelter is level two, because I put one tier two thing down, uh, improves fire making equipment, fires burn longer, cooking, dry wood, wood used for bonfires is more dry and flames burn hotter, restores fatigue while near bonfires, oh, better cooking for now.
This is an interesting way to go about this with this shelter and perks. You're a tank, you're a, a DPS, or you're a rogue. Alright, so now the next step is trying to find the survivor camp, which, that's not a bad world so far. I don't know how to find it, but, uh, yeah. Bench. What do we need to do here with the Kartok? So this is the tannery. Does it have to be outside? If I get two more plant fibers. Do -do 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 -do. Music is nice and chill when it... Oh, that's a huckleberry thing. I don't want to break that down. Let's just get some extras for now. New world pieces ready. I think I want to move the cooking to like the front of the place and put the tannery on the side. Tier two. Yeah, make a tannery, please. Uh, three, rotate it just ever so slightly. So now, do I have to go to the tannery to do stuff? Yes. Uh, fabric, cotton. I don't know where cotton comes from. So now... Oh, workstation not in range. That was my next question. So handcraft it and do it within range. Okay. Wonder how long that takes to redo. All right, so tier two. So we have this a fletching table makes bows and arrows. Okay, flint. I saw a thing about making flint before. I think that was in the handcrafted. So now I have the two flints. Can I? in a recipe, because that'd be really cool if I could. Two feathers and a wooden table. Oh. I gotta get two feathers, but let's save the game. First, let's rest. <sighs> then we're gonna save the game. And then we're going to uh, call it here. For this episode of let's play above snakes uh this is kind of cozy but it's also got zombies and combat so i'm wondering like what happens later on uh if it's going to get any more intense or does it stay like casual cozy we'll see but uh if you like the video drop a thumbs up hit that subscribe button uh, leave comments, share the videos, share the channel. Those are all the best ways to support what I'm doing, and I really do appreciate it. But until next time, take care, have a good one, and I'll see you soon.